Welcome everyone, Mark and Nicholas back again with a new unboxing, a new Retro Game Treasure unboxing. And for those who don't know what Retro Game Treasure is, it's a monthly service where you get video games, video games that you keep, CD based games like he always reminds me every month, as well as vintage old games, cartridge games and all that. Uh, you have a wish list to mark down what kind of games you want, and we've actually been, I've been very successful with the past couple yeah, of boxes, yeah, I've yeah. been getting stuff on the wish list, but don't expect like a $70, $80 game. Uh, you have a list of all the, <laughs> you have a list of all the games uh, that you already have, so you don't get duplicates, and what else? Oh, and what type of games that you like to play. So, what I'm going to do, like we've done in all our other videos... I'm gonna open up my box here and while secretly. I'm, secretly, I'm not gonna see what's inside. No. And one by one, he will unveil them. And on my side, while he while he does that, I will check uh, the ongoing prices, do my little research, boop, 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 boop. and by that, at the end, we'll be able to see the total to see basically if it was worth it or not. So, let me get cracking. Let me open this sucker up. Exacto blade. Go! Don't cut yourself. <laughs> that'd be cool. No, not really, but it'd be cool! <laughs> Alright, so, of course, first things first, we look at the camera, everybody says hi! Always the plastic protector. Ah, Alright, off to the side, plastic protector, I'm not even going to pull it out because he gets mad at me. Alright, all gone. Alright, so, first thing off the bat is NES. NES. NES and... NES? B what? <laughs> <laughs> Blaster Master... You know, the logo, not necessarily the logo, but that image of the demon thingy on it, I believe I've seen it on like a Nintendo magazine. I, I don't actually know what the game is, but uh, I've seen that before, maybe even on uh, Video Arcade Top 10. Anyways. Alright. Next. Next. Alright. N64. N64 is always N64, good. N64, I love N64. Here we go. Star Wars! Woo! <laughs> oh my god! Star Wars Episode 1 Battle for Naboo. I have an Episode 1. Yeah, you there. have with the Star Speed Racer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, the back of this the thing is kind of trash, but that's that's the gamble you get it's, with these. They're all Star Wars. For me, every single Star Wars game is a win. Fine. Doesn't matter which one. Alright. I got three more games in here. Good. Super Nintendo, which right. is pretty much the average between like three to five, six, depending on the price, I guess. <laughs> no, there's nothing. Unfortunately, the five is the limit. All right, Super Nintendo, ready? <gasps> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Terminator wow. Two for SNES. That's cool. Was that on your wish list? I don't remember. I kind of filled up my wish list a lot, so I am I don't remember everything. Maybe because I am a fan. Of, fan. I'm a fan. I'm yeah, a fan. I'm a fan of Terminator. <laughs> All right. Next. Next is another NES game. Ooh! Oh. Dick Tracy. Calling all Dick Tracy. Calling Dick Tracy. Calling Dick Tracy. Yeah, right. I'm not that. You know that. <laughs> I don't know if it's a very good game, though. I might have put it on my list. I don't remember. I don't remember anything I put on my list. That kind of makes it a sub sub blah, blah. I subscribe. Well, knowing you, you probably did, to be honest. I played it. Anyways. Whatever. Dick Tracy. Good. And last but not least... A... Genesis game. Genesis. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Vector Man. I have no idea. What really? It is. This one was on my wish list. This is a game that I used to play every time I walked into Toys R Us back in the day where they didn't have video games out on the shelves. They had only those little pouches with a ticket. And you used to take that ticket and go to the front counter, you pay for your game, and you got it. This used to be set up in the display for Sega. I never got very far in it because it was I only got to play it there and I never owned a Sega. And we should thank Logan 
Cause uh, Logan used to own this game. So yeah, Vector Man. I'm 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 really happy with that one. And that concludes what's in the box. And of course, inside the box, all the little goodies explaining how you share your box. Yep, yeah, because yeah, if I remember correctly, by sharing your box, you have the. No, you don't have a chance to win something bigger or something. Well, it gives you uh, uh, gives you more chances to win their boss crate that they do every okay, month. Yeah, exactly. Never won. Be kind of cool to win. Hint, hint. <laughs> wink, 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 wink. Nudge, nudge. Like you know. All right. All right. So. I compile all the information needed. All right. You'll be happy. I'll be happy. You'll be happy. All right. So to start with, Master first of all, I check the sold listings. Okay. So that will give me a better idea. Well, will give us a better idea of what the games are worth. And you don't include the shipping price, right? And I do not include the shipping price. And all the prices will be in Canadian. So for our American friends, you need to average a little bit lower. And we do it this way just because most of the time we'd go shopping locally to grab the games and we want to get that kind of a yeah, price. Yeah, exactly. But even though shipping is paid for with this, but anyways. Yeah. Alright, first one. To start with, NES Blaster Master. Blaster Master! Sold at $10. Yeah, exactly. That's cool. It's, it's. I mean, I have no idea what the game, but there's like a demon thingy. I guess we'll see after. Next, for N64 Star Wars Battle for Naboo. Resistance alert. Sold for twenty dollars. Wow! Really? Yep. Not bad. Not bad. Uh. Uh, Super NES, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Fifteen dollars. Like that? Ching, ching, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, fourth game, Dick Tracy NES. Yep, Dick Tracy NES. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Wow. Yeah. And okay. finally, Sega Genesis Vectorman. <laughs> Another ten dollars. Wow, nothing below ten. I know. <laughs> For a total of sixty-five dollars Canadian. That's 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 great, and not including shipping. Yeah. Now there are I can't even speak. There's multiple tiers that you could do to pay for your monthly crate. You either pay it every month, every three months, I think every six months, if, or a year. Obviously, if you choose the longer period, the less you will pay uh, for each month. Yes, yeah, so you get a discount. Yeah. But I do every three months. So every three months I get a nice hefty bill that I gotta pay. And it averages out to around fifty-five dollars a month. month per month. Canadian. And that's including the shipping fee that they yeah. have for that. So sixty-five dollars and I'm getting fifty I pay fifty-five dollars and I get sixty-five dollars yep. worth of games. No shipping. Uh, that that's a win. That's a pretty big win. That's a, um... I'm really happy. It's you know it's Boxes like that that really make me excited for this uh, this yeah. service and and once again you got your from your wish list. I'm pretty sure this one yes. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was from my wish list. I'm pretty sure Dick Tracy also will be because <laughs> I'm some kind of weird sucker. Anyways, if you guys want to try out Retro Game Treasure for a month, make sure you enter all the nerds on capitals. Right when you sign up for your first box, you get two dollars, two dollars, two dollars off US from your first box. It's not a lot, but it's something. It's something to start off with. If you don't like it, only try it for a month. Come on, Whatever. don't spit on it. It's <laughs> yeah. two bucks. Two bucks. Everybody likes two bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everyone for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. <laughs> See ya. Bye guys. <laughs>